make this a lot bigger and let's zoom out. Now we have a point of reference. Now we can see how big our character is. So now we can decide how big of a world we want for this. Um, we'll say about there is fine. Now when I'm adding the walls, what I'm going to do is use another circle just to help me as a guideline. And let's choose a different material now. Well, it really doesn't matter what we choose, but let's pick something like this. So remember, when I add more ground, it's not actually going to change the color of that middle part, which is fine. That's I don't want it to change that color. So there we go. Now let's go back to the object tool, and we're going to add some walls in. Now let's hit add. Here's where the walls are under this button. And these paths, actually, you can change it. You it doesn't actually matter which one of these you pick because you can change it later, uh, which is nice. But we'll just choose wall because that's what we want. Now let's change the color to orange. Now. I'm going to do this pretty sloppy right now. I'm not even going to make an octagon, probably. Because I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. But you can spend as much time as you want. Alright, so there we have that. Now it's still on there. Let's hit done. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, it doesn't look great, but whatever. Now it's kind of low, we want to lift this up, so we're going to hit X to select the whole path, then we're going to hit A to pick it up, then we're going to use the D-pad and press up to raise up the path. So there we go, let's raise it up a little bit more. And this is just going to attempt to keep all the enemies from flying outside of the arena. Might not actually keep them all, but... Um, it's better than nothing. So now that we have that done, uh, we can change our ground again if we'd like. So why don't we do that? Um, we'd actually use the magic brush. We don't need to use it, but I might as well just show you. So this is selecting all of this white part, which is what we want to change. We're already on the black material. So we're just going to hit A to change the ground color. And now we can go back to our tools, and we can zoom out, and as you can see, now it's all black. So that's great. So, what do we need now? We can really do this stuff in any order you want, but um, let's just add some enemies. So, let's go add some more pucks. Again, we could use any of these well, almost any of these as we want, but we'll use pucks. And let's go to program this enemy. So we want to say when this enemy's health is zero points, then we want to score you some points. So we're going to go score. We'll give you, I don't know, 20 points. And let's choose which score we want to change that to. We'll say yellow. That's fine. And that should be enough. Let's see what happens when we run the game. So now you can see our yellow scores up there. Okay, so there's the enemy not doing anything. Now let's see what happens when we shoot him. 20 points. All right, that enemy did not die very quickly. And because I want my game to be really quick, we're gonna go into this guy's settings. And while we're here, we might as well make him creatable. And what that does is make it so that we can create as many of these guys as we want. And we can just change the settings on this one guy and they will all mirror those settings. Um, show hit points, we don't need to do that. Uh, max hit points, okay, that's too many. Let's uh, make these guys are really weak. So let's give them only five points. And if you remember the blip settings, I think we have those set 
at five points of damage each. So that should only take one shot to kill these guys. But we're going to make a lot of these guys. So um, they're not even going to shoot themselves. So we don't need to change any of this stuff. That's all fine. Now, here's an interesting thing. We just made him creatable. So if we run the game, hit back, there is now no enemy here. And that's because this is the created, this is the first one, which means it disappears. That's just where all the settings are. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna move this guy outside here, just so we know, just to keep things organized. So we know that this guy over here, that's where the, our settings are. Now we need him to move. So let's add a path. And again, I'm gonna do this really quickly. We're gonna choose a red path. And, whoops. I hit the wrong button again. Okay, Y to add more nodes, that's okay. Um, a, put a node. Let's zoom out a little bit more. So, that's fine. Add another node here. Put node and done with the Y button. Okay, so there we go. Uh, normally I would make this a much more complicated path. If you get the, the real level that I, I'll talk about at the end, you can see it has a much more complicated path, but that's this is good enough for now. So we need these enemies to be created somehow. So what we're going to do is we're going to add something that creates them. Doesn't really matter what. We're going to use a wisp. And now we're going to program this wisp to first move along the path. So let's just say move on path and we want to choose the color red. Okay. Now we're going to want this to then create our enemies. So we're going to change a timer. We're going to add a timer here. So we're going to say when timer is five seconds and let's do random. So it's not every five seconds. Sometimes it's quicker than that. Then create, uh, here we go, actions create. And what do we want to create? We want to use that puck that we already made. So it's under this creatables category. It's the only one there because that's the only thing we've made. So create a puck. And that should be fine. So let's get out of this and let's run the game see what happens. So there's this wisp. It's following this path. Remember the path is invisible, so... And there we go. Now again, these enemies, they're just... they're not doing anything. They have no AI behavior. So... Now we can test out the shooting again. One shot kills. That's good. Now, one thing you might run into, oh, and you can see that the uh, yellow score is on loud, meaning so when I shoot it, it actually tells us. We don't really need that, so we can turn that off if we want. Um, and we really don't want this wisp to be seen, because then that really gives us an advantage, because we can see where it's going to be creating these. So let's jump out of this again. And we're going to go to the wisp settings and go up here to invisible. So now when we run the game, it should be, the wisp is now gone, but there it is still creating objects. We just can't see where it is. And that is exactly what we want. Now, okay, these enemies are really dumb and there's no strategy involved here. There's really no difficulty. So let's change that right now. So let's go to this enemy. Remember this is every enemy that's created. So let's have him, um, let's see, we want him to move on the path all the time, 
but we are going to change that again. Same path we already created, red. Um, we're going to add a page here now, because if he moves on the path red, he's still not coming after us. He's just moving around. And so let's change this so that after, let's say, five seconds, we're going to switch to page two. And this, this lets us add a whole lot of other stuff that happens. So hit the right bumper to go to page two. You actually have 12 pages now with patch one. It started as six, but after they patched it, now you have 12, which is great. So now on page two, we're going to say when he hears the puck, and we want it to be the white puck, because that's us. We actually, I don't know if we change the color of this guy, but we're going to have to do that. Otherwise, he's going to be chasing after the other enemies, which we don't want that. So when he hears the puck, uh, we want him to move uh, towards it. And that should be all we need. Now, if we leave it at that, it's just going to get stuck on this page and that's going to be it, which is okay. But to make it a little more interesting, they'll just be relentless that way. They'll just keep coming after us. We'll make it so then he changes his mind after some amount of seconds. Let's just say four seconds. We're going to switch back to page one. So then it's going to go back here and it's going to start following the path again. And You know what? We might have to add this to the other page as well. Not sure if we need to do that, but um, that way if it's on this page and he gets killed, he will still give us the points. So let's test this out, see if that was enough to get this to work. And if not, we'll just go back in and change the program a little bit. So he's following the path after some amount of seconds. Now he's, yep, he's chasing after us. And there, and then he changed his mind and went back to the path again. Um, he might actually be chasing the other one, because like I said, <laughs> uh, we forgot to change the colors of them, because he's just chasing after white pucks, and we're all white. So let's change this. Yep, he's white. So we can make him whatever we want. Um, how about we just make him a red? So now all the enemies will be red pucks. So that way they will only chase after us because we're the only white puck. Uh, of course, you can add more enemies if you want. You can add some UFOs and things. Oh, I think I, I forgot to mention this before. The, the height of these really matters, especially now that they've patched it because now they get created at the same height as... Um, the object that creates them. So what you might have to do is lower everything down. If we pick him up and then use the D-pad, we can lower this wisp down. Um, that might matter. You might run, run into that issue. Since these are all pucks, they probably start at the same height as me. Um, but with a UFO and things, you might. I had to mess with that when I was creating this game earlier. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, let's see, now what do we need to do? Well, we can go change the scoring to turn the yellow score. Where is yellow? Here we go. Hit A to change that to quiet, so it'll still display the score. Uh, okay, 